All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, my name is Justin Springston, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a pretty cool webinar um, page for your website that implements everything from Facebook comments to uh, you can join a Hangout, and you can also have a live video, your live Facebook video stream on the page with the share locker function that enforces that people like and share your your page and post in order to see the live webinar or seminar that you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to do that from a blank page starting from scratch here. This is pretty much a blank page. You can you can set it up however you want really, but this is just for uh, setting up the way that I had it right there. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go want to go ahead and set up the live stream. So you're going to go to your page, uh, business.facebook, preferably if you don't have a business.facebook uh, set up for your business page, I highly recommend it. You, It's not required, but you do get more tools when you do set it up that way. So you're going to go to publishing tools. You're going to go click on videos. Hit the plus and the live button. That's going to give you a stream key that you're going to copy here. Copy that. And now you're going to paste that stream key into your video broadcasting software, which I use OBS Studio. Go to settings, stream, Facebook Live, stream key. Paste in that stream key. Press apply press OK now go ahead and hit start streaming it's not going to go live yet but it will go live um, it'll go live in the preview here on Facebook that just basically ensures that you got the stream key connected correctly and that it's able to connect with Facebook and it's going to show you a little preview here now what you what I highly recommend doing or what you basically need to do anyways is schedule the live so you can schedule it for any time that you want. I'm going to go ahead and schedule this for uh, Halloween at, let's do, let's do 3.03. So about, about 24 hours from now, you can add a custom image right there into the uh, live stream. It's a very small image, but still you can add that to it. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule. Once you've scheduled it, should be good to go there. Haven't done anything too crazy. Now you can go to videos. Click this video right there. Uh, actually, go to the page itself. Go to the page. Then go to videos. And it's going to say live now, but it's not actually live now. Go ahead and click that. And now you're going to get your URL minus the Facebook part. I'm going to take that out. And put www. That's going to be your URL to the video. You're going to need that. And you're also going to need an embed code. So you're going to need the embed code and the URL to the video. You don't have to take the www out like I did right there you can actually just go to regular Facebook go to your page I think it'll say that I've scheduled a live one yeah it says right there I plan to go live you can also get the embed code there and if you need I'm not exactly sure how to get the URL from this point if someone knows go ahead and comment and let me know but I share it, I send it as a message to myself. Kind of an extra step, there probably is a shortcut to this. But anyways, then I can just right click right there in my own messages and copy the link address to get the URL. Alright, so back into the builder, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the embed code. 
that's the embed code go ahead and copy that there's some advanced settings here which will let you change the pixel width you can do that in the developers that Facebook but I'm gonna show you what I do it's kinda easier um, you don't have to go through here so copy this embed code right click copy go into your HTML editor back to our blank page press the add button apps and HTML double click the box delete everything here paste it press confirm and now you're gonna get this your live video but notice how it's very small I'm gonna show you how to change that easily right right from here go back to edit and you're going to look here in this bar should be right at the end it'll say the first every time it says width you're going to change that and when I change it to what fits pretty nicely is 900 so change the the width right there and right there and then right here where it says height I also put 900 as well now watch how this is going to change the size of the video dramatically boom stretch it out now we're cooking with grease alright so now we have the video embedded and you can add little banners at the top you can put little decorations around it you can pretty much jazz this up however you however you want to alright the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna put Facebook comments to where people can comment right there not on the post specifically but they can comment on the specific page so I'm gonna hit the little plus icon go to social go to comments and these comment boxes are not like um, not really what you would think this is pretty much open like open to the public anybody can can comment on this when you go into edit I'm gonna change the width down to 600 confirm so it fits in my little box here and also in the edit menu you can change the number of posts I usually do 10 and the URL you can do literally any URL that you want like anybody who's ever embedded this on their website and put this URL those comments are permanent you can't change that so for example if I put ebay.com confirm now anybody who's ever put eBay into their embedded that into their Facebook all those comments are public I mean you still get notified when people comment on them etc etc but um, that's just a good heads up so I'm gonna go ahead and put this URL which is broadcastingmasses.com forward slash one number of post 10 alright I'll hit confirm I'm also going to stretch this box out to the bottom of the pretty much the bottom of the page so as comments fill up or you can go beforehand and fill these up with comments and you can even make it to where it only shows like five comments like the five first comments you can make it just show that or you can make it show you know however you really want to configure it you can do that so I hit confirm nobody's ever commented on this at all so that's how you put the comments section in uh, next step is I'm gonna add I'm gonna build the share locker to where people have to like your page and comment or not like and comment they have to like and share so let's just go in back to your builder all dashboard go to apps share locker um, basic select that option now you can make the title anything you want um, 
I'm going to put please confirm registration by liking our page and sharing this video. The page, I'm going to put my personal Facebook page, or the, not my personal Facebook page, but my Facebook business page, Infinity Global Systems. Now this is a very powerful opt-in because now every time that you go live on your page, people who have liked your page are going to get notified. So that's a pretty cool, that's it's almost better than email I would say because I mean everybody's on Facebook all the time and they see the little notifications, they pop up on their phone, they pop up on their computer, etc, etc. Now the share page you will put the video URL which I had sent to myself I showed you I sent it to myself copy the link go back into your um, sh go back into your share locker paste that so now they have to like and share now do an image pop up I'm going to do Spartans I wouldn't do this for my actual actual sales video but this is just for demonstration so now Spartans are going to pop up and the second image to share I think this is just only for if you're using a website but I'll just put like any random image up there if you if you're doing it for a Facebook page it's not going to show this image it's just going to show um, what the Facebook page will look like and I'll show you in a second so once you got all that set up hit generate and save and it's going to give you a, a code that you're going to, that you're going to put into the, the head tag so copy that go back into your editor now you're going to go hit the pages button at the top Go to the page that you want to put the share locker on, or yeah, go to the page that you want to put the share locker on, which is this one. Hit the little gear icon to configure. Now, page head scripts. This will be blank. I was playing with it earlier. That's why I had something there. But you will paste that in there, and now you'll hit save. And now the share locker is in there. I'm going to go ahead and save the page. It says give uh, five minutes to update. Builder all usually takes, you know, three or four minutes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, whenever I go live tomorrow at 3.03 .03 p.m., it will. I can prom I can promote this broadcast, tell people to come in and register, and when they register when they register they'll like the page and they'll also share the video, which will get more get you more exposure for your webinar or your seminar. And you can do this kind of however you want. This is just kind of like a basic setup of how you can do it, I'm going through all the steps just to get this part functional. So let's see if it's uh, configured yet. See what we got. And it looks like it's still blank. Hasn't quite updated yet. Notice at the bottom I have this nice little go to the infinity seminar. And that's just afterwards, you know, if you want to come and check out my product or your product or you know whatever you want to put there to send people to, you can put add little buttons in and different things for your website however you want to do it. it it can even be a form or anything I'm still waiting on that to update
Let me go ahead and open an incognito tab. All right, here we go. Sometimes you, to thoroughly test something, you gotta open it in an incognito tab. So yeah, when they come to your page, you know, you invite them to your webinar. You have your Facebook live stream that's gonna start at whatever time you want it to start. And now for people to get to it, the only way that they can confirm their registration is by liking your page. So they'll be prompted to log into Facebook if they're not already. you'll go ahead and like it and then step one complete hit share post that this is coming to Facebook so go ahead and post to Facebook and then once you've confirmed all of that which should happen now bada boom bada bing now you're at your page it's another cool little feature I suggest you checking out um, this is something that you can put on your page that will pop up to enable notifications so that say when you go live on YouTube or you upload, upload a new YouTube video or I think there's some other settings that you can do too but it will notify uh, people who opt in right here so we'll go ahead and hit enable notifications and I think since I'm in uh, I think since I'm in an incognito tab that won't happen but I just just kind of rambling right here. This is how it's set up. Now that you're logged in, you can put, you know, anybody can get on here and be like, hey, nice webinar. Post it. It'll post to Zim. Uh, people can get on and reply to it and like it as well. And, you know, just uh, thought I'd make this video for you guys to check out. Hope you thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. And um, uh, give me any feedback that you have.